Oh, hello and welcome to an episode of Project Highway. Hi, Rise. <laughs> With me, Table. We could do the tutorials. I guess we should. It's all about learn. Oh, no mods. It's all about learning. Learn about building floors, adding utilities for renting space, tenants. You know what? Screw it. Let's do the tutorials, man. Let's do them. I'm never going to get good at games if I don't do the tutorials. Oh, hello. Where are your eyes? Oh, my days. <laughs> Sorry, I loved a big glug of energy drink just before starting. That's why I was talking about his eyes. Where are your eyes gone? Hello, you must be a new architect. Welcome. What's that you say? I have no eyes. <laughs> well, there's construction supervisor around here. No time boss. Okay. Okay, so there's some woman here. Brissette. Works at Eagle Inc. Happiness. Yep. Yeah. These two buddies. Oh, they're just sharing the newspaper. Oh, they're not happy. I wish we could get some coffee. Works, uh, time for a quick bite. Fine. First, you need to know how to get around. Ooh, oh. Okay. Uh, let's build a new office so that we can. Some more rent money coming in. Fine. Click on the office button. Yay. Yo. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Right click to exit the placement or press escape. Do you see the notification? Uh, we should build a tenant and fill it. Fine. Insurance offices. We have three potential tenants. Uh, let's have Ribeiro Insurance. Ah. Oh. Got it, boss. Our team of construction workers is building out the office space. Let's wait until they're done. No worries. So these truckers down here. Yeah, go on, get involved. Go on, get walking. This might be a good time to speed up time. I agree. Oh, she took the elevator. Wow, she works far. Oh, it's time sped up. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, Ribeiro. So I don't care how they work or anything. Because, uh... Oh, he's a shop owner. Oh, okay. Oh, you want me to slow it back down. One more hint. You can also pause and unpause the game. Or pressing space. Yeah, feel free to try it out. Okay, fine. Now we've filled that space, we should start expanding the building right, boss. We have to build out more floor space. Okay, easy. Oh, you can see how this utility view is building. I need to extend. Ah, yeah. All right, okay, pretty easy. Our builders will now finish the building. Uh, the floor tiles will continue once the floor is ready. It's only the one construction worker that's going. Hey, you're buying food? You're supposed to be working. <laughs> oh, they're both working now. Should we add a restaurant? Tenants would appreciate a much nicer lunch spot. Sure, yeah. Why not? Now we need to add someone. Food court restaurants. Or fast authentic sushi. <laughs> Great, workers will build that restaurant in no time. Good, here he comes, he's in. Uh, there's one more thing we should learn about construction and that is how to add whole new floors. Follow me to the top of your building. This building is not very tall, so we're going to add a new floor and connect it with elevators and utilities, fine. Whoop. There's one snack, however. Our construction workers can't get there. Let's extend the elevator. Uh, one floor, okay, fine. Nice. Lovely. I look looks like you can go pretty high. <gasps> you can go practically I don't even know if I'm still scrolling up at this point. That's pretty tall. Okay, I like it. How far side to side we can go. Okay, I need this wide. Alright, fine. Wow, they did that really fast. Utilities, yeah, we need those. Yep. Ah, so you've got to build fuse boxes and then do the lines. Like so. You're welcome. I thought I'd done it. Yeah, I've already done it, buddy. Well done. You now know the basics of high-rise construction. Easy peasy. The story is over. You could look around and explore. You now click the text that may be you. That's fine. You know what? Let's keep going. Let's do the next one. Tenants. Let's do this. Let's do all of them. I'm gonna do all of them in this video. I'm sorry. Who did you say? Where are your eyes? 
Oh no, you're the new owner. Please excuse me. No one told me. Yeah, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're not recognizing the boss. <laughs> Just one moment. I finish up this call. Building supervisor, I have to deal with problems all kinds. Hopefully you can help. Yes, I can. Let's see, what's the first line on the list? Ah, oh, yes, it's tenant and rather unhappy. Looks like they need a phone connection. I can sort them out a phone connection. Ain't no problem. Click the button to open the utilities menu. Telephone. Blonk. Beep, blah, 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 blah. There you go. We connect up the phone line office, but it's not connected to the outside world. We need at least one phone switchboard in the building. Oh, okay. You need a phone switchboard. There you go. Power up to 10 offices and we'll need a phone connection. Other utilities will need other types of connectors, of course. <gasps> Excuse me. Ooh. How's that tenant doing? Much better, it seems. Very well. Let's see what's next on the list. What's wrong? What's the matter, buddy? Click on the overlays button to turn it off. Yes, please. What is wrong? The tenant is considering moving out. Bottle water services needed. Okay. Let's uh, build a special service that they need. Fine. Yeah. Right click on the tenant and we'll continue. Construct business service. Courier service. Bottled water services. Oh, it's a massive building. Ah, right, okay, so it's for, like, uh, water delivery, fine. Alright, fine. Click on the cash readout at the bottom of the screen. Other expenses, current cash, fine. This is our daily cash flow. Rent money comes in every day at midnight, and in expenses and construction costs get subtracted. Okay, so where's my rent? Rent revenue, zero. Okay. Money comes from tenants who pay rent. Click on any office or restaurant to find out more. Daily rent, 110. The amount of daily rent on the right shows how much money they will pay every day. This amount can be adjusted up and down, which will impact both the bottom line and their happiness. Okay. Thanks for the help. I'm glad you stopped by. and We'll be able to talk about our budgets and tenants' happy. Make sure the overlays inspect the building on a regular basis. Click on the tenants to find out if they're happy. Wow. That was fast. Easy. They just give them some phones, give them water. It's all good. Prestige! <laughs> I'm just doing it all. I'm just doing it all. Hello again. I am Mrs. No Eyes. Uh, they're paying their rent on time, which is a great step. Now our budget is stable. Let's talk about prestige. Prestige is what separates famous buildings from mediocre ones. Most important, the high prestige will attract high end tenants who will pay, willing to pay more in rent. So the higher your prestige, the better. Ooh. The current is zero prestige points. You have to see at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I see them down here. Uh, one way to increase prestige is to increase the population so that more people know about your building. Okay. Square a building that you have to 20 population, which will increase the prestige. Add two more small offices to the building and we'll continue once they've moved in. Fine. Uh, office. I'm going to put them there like that. Let's do that. There we go, utilities. Okay, they've already got utilities, that's fine. Can I put in more offices? Can I cheat? Oh, it's gonna let me. I'm gonna wait on that actually. Oh, they're already built. Okay. Yeah, get move in. There we go, two more offices. Well done. Look at your prestige. Bottom of the counter prestige point is now one. You can move the mouse over it for the information and continue already. <clears throat> 20 pop. As you probably noticed, they also unlock some new build options in the bottom menu. For example, you can now decorate your hallways with wallpaper and furniture. Can I now? As you gain prestige, more types of build options become available. That's the tech tree. Okay. Feel free to explore. Now build them an office anywhere in your building. Okay. Great. Now you have a consultant. They will help us use our something influence on upgrading the building okay oh small artworks provide a small prestige boost ah okay very good we spent 10 influence on points but we unlocked access to a variety of small art pieces art is not cheap but i'm sure our tenants will appreciate arts a tax write-off did you know that 
Art is for laundering money. Just saying. Art is cheap. It's not cheap. Now pick up the small art pieces and place it in the building, for instance, in the lobby. Fine with me. Five grand. Woo. Uh, things you don't... I can write it off as tax now. It's fine. <laughs> things are start looking much better, don't you think? I don't know if you noticed, but your prestige also increased by one point. Art pieces are the way to, way to boost your prestige. Oh, okay. To recap, interior decorators are just one type of consultant. Your influence points come from happy tenants and consultants help you spend influence points on various types of building improvements. Okay, fine. Tutorial is over. That's prestige. Prestige is like science, right? That's what it's like. It's like science. Disrepair. Fix your crummy bum buildings. Hey, boss. I also have no eyes. I'm a maintenance supervisor. Glad you could come over. Apartment building is such short notice. What mess we have on our hands? Yeah, it's filthy. Looks like the previous manager was a scumbag. <laughs> and didn't do the maintenance. Every rentable space is dirty. And the water stains everywhere. And tenants are unhappy. Yeah, look at their rooms. Yeah, fix that shizness. Just go ahead and... Yeah, everyone gets fixed. We're just going to fix it all. Let's wait for the repair person to come and fix it. Yeah, go fix all of them. Go on. Go on, repair people. Go sort out their houses. Jeez. One day, a few more to go. Fortunately, we have a lot of cash lying around. That's fine. Just do them all. Maintenance office, yeah. Renovate. Renovations are scheduled. See the maintenance crew. All oh, right, okay. So you can just do it that way. Ah, okay, fine. There's one more thing that your apartment needs, and that is trash bins. We're going to have some space on each floor that's going to be just right for trash bins. Click on the infrastructure bottom below. Okay, so trash is two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you want trash on the same floor. Trash bins need to be emptied out in the central collection facility. Let's place one now. Fortunately, we have a lot of room in the basement. There you go. Okay. This place looks much better. Yeah. It'll be repaired. Yeah, I'm glad you're happy. Oh. <laughs> that tutorial was so easy. So unbelievably easy. User interface. Sorted. Go through all the tutorials. I'm really looking forward to building a skyscraper. It's going to be amazing. Hello, boss. Now that you're familiar with the building, let me introduce you to the to all the different user interface elements you can use to get more information about the building. Okay, yeah, sure. Build menu. You already know how to build things. On the lower left is the time, yep. Yeah. This large display is your cash, yep. Yeah. Right next to that is the loans button. Ooh. Okay. 20 times what okay, right, yep. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yep. Yeah. Next year, prestige. We know all about prestige nowadays. Uh, yeah, we've got prestige. What's that? Population. That also gives you prestige. Next is the buzz. I buzz counter. Buzz comes from happy visitors, and once you have enough, you can use it to start a media campaign. Ooh, I like. Next is the influence counter. Basically, science tech tree. And then we have a variety of buttons for building and constructing. Yeah. Then the utilities one. Oh, what's that one? Two special buttons worth mentioning. First, this button will let us examine what contracts we've signed with the city or if new contracts are available. More people needed. Pay up 500, pay 500 up front and 1500 for getting completion. Oh, okay. All right, okay. I like the idea of that. That's kind of cool. Second, I have a surprise for you. You have to pay a little bit of money to, to get in on the challenge. But you get more back if you complete it. I really like that idea. Second, uh, I have a surprise for you. We're one of the first companies in the business to utilize an electronic data processing machine. The system is called Ada360. Hello, Ada. Uh, I'll take a budget overview. Thank you very much, Ada. Tenant overview. Thank you. What about the population feedback? Thanks very much, Ada. <laughs> now, <laughs> on your upper left corner, you have some visual aids. That Ada is a robo, robo bug. Uh, overlays show the current happiness levels, noise levels, and other information. Yeah, fine. 
Uh, the second button shows your utilities. Always useful. Water, phone, power, red. <laughs> the third button shows construction view of the building along with some statistics about its dimensions. Oh, yeah. Now we can, Now we're in business. How many? 19 floors. But look, we can go so much higher. I better be able to go higher than 19 floors. Yeah, I better be able to go higher than that. Don't you mess with me. Finally, buttons in the lower left. Uh, we've got game options, save current game, quit to the menu. How about a whirlwind tour of the interface? There are a few more elements that we haven't seen, but that's no problem. If you ever need a hint about the interface, just hover over the mouse over it and it will appear in the information box. Thank you very much, Project High Rise. Up, it, it seems like a really good game. It seems like a really fun little game. Not even a fun little game. It looks like it's going to be really good. I'm in table. That's Project High Rise. I'll see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>